Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today my hair is up. I'm so excited. This is like breaking news. If you guys are my subscribers, then you know this is like the first time I've been able to put my hair up since my haircut. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We're celebrating today. But I'm glad I'm able to put my hair up because I'm going to do my favorite face mask today and that is a turmeric mask. Turmeric is, and actually it's a spice, but it's one of those spices that's like a miracle worker. It just does and fixes everything. A turmeric mask will help brighten your skin, it'll help tighten your pores, it'll help with any acne or eczema, it reduces redness, inflammation, helps with your dark circles, also helps with facial hair, uh, anti-aging, helps with wrinkles, like literally it does everything. So this is one of my favorite masks to do and I thought I'd share it with you guys today. Now before we get started, there are some things I want you to keep in mind. One, this powder is like very yellow and it's also used as a dye sometimes so it will stain everything. Wear a, whatever shirt you don't care about, make sure your nails aren't that important to you, make sure they're not white or clear because they might turn yellow. Sometimes you can get it off, sometimes you can't. So personally, I'm going to be wearing gloves today and I'm getting my nails done tomorrow so I don't really care. So without further ado, let's get started. So first you grab a small clear bowl, a teaspoon, a tablespoon, some turmeric powder that I got from a local store for about $2, almond oil, flour, and milk. I'm also gonna be wearing gloves so that I don't stain my nails. So we're gonna start off with the flour and we're gonna add two tablespoons of this. Then you grab your turmeric powder and you're gonna do one teaspoon. Now I'm gonna grab the almond oil and the tablespoon once again. We're gonna add one tablespoon of almond oil. And then we're going to add as much milk as we think we need. So I'm gonna start off with three tablespoons of milk. Once you start to mix it all together, you're going to notice that it's gonna turn into a thick paste. We don't want it too thick, so just keep adding milk until you find the right consistency. Now we don't want it too runny to where it's just sliding off your face, so make sure it's just creamy enough so it looks exactly like this. All right, so now that our mask is completely made, I'm gonna put my gloves back on. So some people like to put on this mask with a foundation brush or you can use a spoon, but I prefer just using my fingers. I just find it easier to maneuver around my face. Now that we're going to put this on our face, make sure you don't get it on your eyebrows. This can also help with any type of facial hair. Removing it here is good, removing your eyebrows is not. So be careful with your hairline and your eyebrows and we're just going to apply this gently. So I'm just gonna get some of this. Here we go. Ooh, this is cold, but gonna do wonders, everyone. Trust me. And it's also good to get it underneath your eyes because it also helps with dark circles, which I have very, very, very dark circles that I was just born with. So if we could lighten those babies up, that'd be great. Make sure you take off your gloves like this. That way all the mess is on the inside. You can throw it away and you don't have yellow nails and won't get anything else on anything. So now I'm gonna leave this mask on for 20 minutes, which means I have 20 minutes to scare anybody in the house. And then we're gonna wash it off. Hey Siri. Set timer for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes and counting. Thanks. After 20 minutes, you're gonna feel your face get very stiff, like you won't be able to move your face at all. And then you grab your gloves, some type of towel that you don't mind ruining, and a gentle cleanser like Cetaphil. Sorry for the serious face, I just literally can't smile. So then I'm gonna start to wash it off with lukewarm water. And just be careful because this could get on your counters or your white sink, so if it does, just make sure you wipe it off right away so you don't stain your countertops. This stuff is no joke. So 
So once I rinse off the majority of it, I'm gonna grab my damp towel and just wipe off the rest. After you wipe everything off, if your face still looks a little bit yellow, don't freak out. This is where our Cetaphil comes in just to do one more cleanse and just keep adding as much soap as you need to until all the yellowness is gone. So now that the mask is completely washed off, all I did was add a little bit of this oil-free moisturizer by Neutrogena, and now my skin feels so clean, and you can see that I'm glowing just a little bit. It is best if you do this at least once a week, and you can actually just put a cover on this and keep it in the fridge. It is best if you write, do not eat, this is a mask, because I can't tell you how many times my dad thought it was mustard. Now there are many different ways to make this mask. This is just the way that I have been doing it, but I do wanna start trying to use honey or lemon. There's a million different recipes, and I'm gonna put a link in the description box that shows you how you can make a mask to fit your certain skin types and skin needs, so make sure you guys check that out. And I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday, so I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Before you go, make sure you check out my last video, which was a mixed girl tag. And if you're dealing with acne or oily skin, make sure you check out my other skincare videos, which I will link below in the description box.